In this tutorial I'll show you how to create impressively smooth time-lapse videos with Repetir Server. There are a few things to consider here. First of all, the quality of the webcam decides how sharp, noisy and contrasty the image is and what resolution the camera has. We made the recordings in this video with the Logitech Brio 4K webcam on a Raspberry Pi 4. Repetir Server supports all image and video sizes, as long as the streamer software delivers them as JPG or MJPG. So even 4K is no problem. The resolution is set in the streamer software. If you use our Raspberry Pi image, you can set this in the printer settings in webcam, because we already have the MJPG streamer pre-configured. However, to receive 4K images and videos, the Raspberry Pi needs a USB 3.0 port to transfer the data, which only the Raspberry Pi 4 has. With a USB 2 port, a maximum of 1920 by 1080 pixels is possible with our Logitech Brio 4K webcam. Please also note that you should not choose 30 frames per second for the live stream at 4K, a Raspberry Pi quickly comes to its limits. Now you can set the webcam parameters in the streamer software. For a smooth video I recommend not to set any settings to auto, but to set the focus, exposure and white balance temperature manually, so that this is always the same over the entire print and has no fluctuations. Ideally you can position a similar model on the print bed and adjust the parameters that way. With this the webcam is optimally adjusted. Now you have to set the time-lapse video settings, which frame rate your video should have. Also the bitrate should not be too small to be able to edit the video afterwards. I have set it to 100,000, which gives very good results. Then you set when and how often a photo should be taken for the time-lapse video. If you do not enforce a position for snapshots, the print head will jerk around wildly in the video, which may well be intentional to illustrate the work of the printer but you also have the possibility to enforce a position for snapshots. The print head is always moved to the specified position for the snapshot and thus moves up very slowly in the video while the model is piled up under it. If the print head trembles slightly in the video, you can make a short print pause before and after the snapshot, so you can eliminate this trembling completely. How long the pause must be, depends on the used webcam. But the pause should not be unnecessarily long to avoid filament oozing. Also it is optimal if the part position is within the printed model, but depending on the model this is often not possible. If the printer has stringing problems, I would not specify a fixed position for the snapshots, because of course the filaments will not look really good and will shake in time-lapse video. Now we have everything optimally set in the software and the webcam is optionally positioned. But there is more to consider. As soon as daylight shines into the room, you naturally have brightness fluctuations due to the normal day and night rhythm during longer prints. But also clouds cause unwanted brightness fluctuations. Not every interior lighting is equally optimal, because many lamps flicker at 50 or 60 Hz, which is not visible by the human eye and is not visible in normal video, but can lead to strong brightness fluctuations in individual snapshots. Ideally, you use flicker-free lamps, so you have a constant brightness. If you want good quality, it is better to make too many than too few snapshots, you can easily speed up the video afterwards with a video editor. And if you still have a slight flickering in single frames despite all these tips, you can remove it with some video editors. If your video editor can't do this, you can overlay the video two or three times and offset each by one frame. The overlaid video gets a transparency of 50%. This way the video gains a lot of silence. What else can cause unrest in the images, for example, a filament spool that can be seen in the image or that reflects light or shadow onto the captured object? Flickering printer LEDs can also disturb the image, but you can mask them. Depending on the quality requirements, there are a lot of things to consider. But if you follow all these tips, you will create amazing time-lapse videos of your prints.